So, Pam, you're here today three and a half weeks after I did your foot surgery. Yes. And you had a very interesting case because you had a tarsal tan tunnel and plantar fasciitis, yes. and you were referred by one of my favorite people in the world, <laughs> uh, and Dr. Olga tried the cortisone shots yes. on you, right? Yes, ma'am. You finally, uh, when you started having that burning, you had the nerve conduction study done, and yes, it showed that you had tarsal tunnel. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. So about four weeks ago, we did the surgery on you. Yes. So tell me how much better are you? Much better. Much better. Like, <laughs> much how many, better. like numbers, how much percentage was you um, better? I would say, I mean, and we still are just, I'm still moving. Right, right. I would say 90%. 90%. I mean, I can walk and put pressure on it mm -hmm. and not feel the pain that I was feeling. Right. Definitely. Um, well, the reason why I'm doing this video is because of the tarsal tunnel component. Okay. Right. Because for one is, um, if you research tarsal tunnel on you know, the web, you probably would never want to see a doctor in your life because yes. there are a lot of scary things that are published, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. And I remember you and I, we had this conversation about how the new tarsal tunnel surgery yes. is very different from the old tarsal tunnel surgery. Much different. And I guess you're a living proof yeah. that... <laughs> <laughs> it works. It works, and it, it works. works pretty fast. Yeah, right? and it works fast. It wasn't right. a near. I came right. in scared, and um, when right. I had it done, it was mm -hmm. great. And right. I mean, I'm walking in a tennis shoe three and a half weeks later, so I'm right. doing pretty good. So, I mean, I think the key is that people don't realize that the new tarsal tunnel surgery... We don't mess with the nerve. We just decompress it. Decompress right? it. it so we don't touch the nerve. We're like literally, right. we're very, very careful. In the old surgery, uh, people used to yank on it and like oh. dissect it. Yes. And they found out that there is, you know, obviously the nerve is a very intricate part of our body. Right. And you really have to handle it so carefully. And I don't know if you remember, but I did my your surgery with my surgical loops, with like microscope loops, mm -hmm. basically, right? Right. So the reason why I'm doing this video is, you know, I have plenty of plantar fasciitis surgeries yes, that, you know, I have videos, but the tarsal tunnel, I think there's such a fear right. because people research it and they see numbers like 50% success rate. It is not true. It's no. much higher than no, that. Much right? higher than that. But much I think higher. the problem is that the training is so different right. and people who used to have tarsal tunnel surgical skills from 20 years ago are still doing it and not getting good results yes ma'am makes sense this is awesome yeah it so worked. when you do it well we're doing it on your left we're, foot we're right? gonna do the left foot also so i so, did the right one so yes right. i'm definitely gonna do okay. the left one because i want you know right. them to be of where course. i can walk and everything right. be great and i think that also we know that if you don't fix tarsal tunnel, it only gets worse. It only gets worse. Right. I've been doing it a year uh, and a half, and it only right. got worse. I mean, right. progressively. It's, it's interesting if you read like um, fathers, founding fathers of foot and ankle surgery. Mm -hmm. They say tarsal tunnel is really a surgical diagnosis. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. They basically say you have to do it. Yes. There's just no way out of it. Well, and I agree. So, <laughs> I I agree because mm -hmm. I'm much better. Much so, better. Well, good. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.